Hi, I'm Joy Kent, founder of Wearing Your Greatness. Did you know clothes can change how you feel? They can transform you from feeling like a plain Jane to a proud Mary. As a result, you're able to feel like you can conquer your world, allowing you to pursue your passions, to create impact, and make this world a better place to live. In this video, you're gonna learn about three design lines that help you in this transformational process. They are the silhouette, horizontal lines, and vertical design lines. In fact, when strategically put together, magic happens. I'm having my assistant Mary model outfits that I see at the Macy store in Roseville, California. Today, she is wearing a Sam, Sam Edelman vest jacket and skirt, and then, and now this bodysuit and Ann Klein necklace. Let's get started. The first design line that I'll talk about today is the silhouette. It's the outside line of an outfit. It's the difference between the shoulders and the waist, waist and the hips, and the hips and the shoulders. It comes in two categories, angular and curved. The angular category, the shoulders, waist, and hips appear to be all the same width. While the curved category, the waist is significantly smaller than both the shoulders and the hips. Your body shape gives you clues to which category. So if you have an angular body shape, then you have wear an angular silhouette. If you have a curved body shape, you go for a curved silhouette. Our feature body shape is the H body shape, where the shoulders, waist, and the hips appear to be all the same width. This category, this body shape go, falls into the angular category. So let's look at this outfit. So the shoulders, it goes up to the best hips here in the shoulders and goes straight down. And then it slightly indents right in here. And then it has a major indent out here. So technically, this vest is an, a curvy vest. So why did I pick it for our angular silhouette? Well, that's because when I'm looking at the side seam here, it really just barely goes in and then it goes out a lot from here. So from here and here, which is the more important piece of it. So it does, it does work for our H body shape, but I picked it because of the skirt and creating balance with the skirt. So the skirt is an A-line. So the waist is thinner and then it goes straight out. And it's just a slight change. But I didn't want to have an, a straight up and down, a, um, a straight silhouette with this angular um, A-shape skirt. So you can tell that on Mary that it works well because her ship hips go out and it creates a, a curvy silhouette. So this skirt, skirt can be worn by an angular or a curvy body shape. And the same thing goes with this jacket. And it's all gonna really depend on this area. Now let's look at the bodysuit. It's made out of a net, a lycra net, and it forms to any body shape because if you look at it, it goes up and down and actually it indents a little bit. But because it's made out of net, it can adapt to any body shape. So for the silhouette, these outfits work great for our H body shape. The next design line that we're gonna talk about are horizontal design lines. Horizontal design lines, they're gonna stop your eye, emphasize that area, make it appear wider and shorter. 
your body shape and body proportions give you clues to the placement of these design lines. For body shape, you don't want to put them in your wider areas because it's going to make those areas appear even wider and creating even more out of balance. But you do want to put them in your thinner areas because it's going to make those areas appear wider, creating balance with your wider area. For body proportions, you don't want to put them in just your, you don't want to put them in your short areas because it's going to make those areas appear even shorter but you do want to put them in your long areas because it's going to make those areas appear shorter, creating better overall balance. Our featured body shape is the H body shape where the shoulders, waist, hips appear to be all the same width. Our body proportions is short between the chin and the bust, long between the waist and the crotch, the torso and the legs appear to be the same length. So for our H body shape, you can put horizontal lines anywhere. So it doesn't really matter where you, you don't have to worry about horizontal placement for an H body shape. However, you gotta consider the body proportions. So she's with being short between her chin and the bust, she wants to limit them in that area and then you being long between the waist and the crotch you want to have them in that area so let's look at our outfit we're going to start up here and you're going to look at where does the eye stop so it stops right here at the lapel and the the necklace and then also the top of the scoop or the scoop neck and then you go down and then it stops at the waist for the, the um, skirt and then also the pockets create horizontal lines and then you have a horizontal line which is just below the crotch and a horizontal line at mid hip or mid thigh actually a little bit lower than mid thigh so you might ask about horizontal lines up in this area because we have we're short between the chin and the bust when i originally picked out this outfit i picked out a bodysuit that had a v-neck because i wanted to have that length counterbalancing the horizontal lines here but in the fashion industry we don't always get to have all the hors have the horizontal lines placed exactly where we want them so we have to be able to adapt and that's why I kept kept this so that you can learn how to adapt the main reason is because we do have vertical lines in this area which we'll talk about in the next section, which helps move your eye away from that area. A better choice of a necklace, if I had thought about it once I changed out the bodysuit, was to have a lasso necklace, um, a necklace that goes down or a pendant one that brings length. So it, comes to about right here so it creates length an example of a pendant necklace would be like this necklace because it will bring your eye down and it it breaks up this horizontal line in that area the horizontal lines in created by the waist and the pockets work really well for this body shape or body proportions because she's long between her waist and her crotch. But with having a skirt, you really don't know where the torso ends and the legs begin. So you can't really tell if she's long or short, but these horizontal lines look really well for her body shape or body proportion, especially with being her torso and her legs being the same length, you have horizontal lines up here and you have horizontal lines down in this area 
it creates overall balance. In the next vid or section, you're going to talk about vertical design lines. Vertical design lines move your eye up and down, make that area appear thinner and taller. Your body shape, body proportions give you clues to the placement of these design lines. For body shape, you don't want to, you want them through your wider areas because it's going to move your eye through that area and make that area appear thinner. But you don't want them just in your thin areas because it's going to make those areas appear thinner and making your wider area appear wider. For body proportions, you do want them in your shorter areas because it's going to make those areas appear longer, but you don't want them in just your long areas because it's going to make those areas appear longer, creating more out of balance. So our featured body shape is the H body shape where the shoulders, waist, and hips appear to be all the same width. So you can place vertical design lines anywhere, just like the horizontal ones. For body proportions, you do want to consider them if you're short. So she's short between your, her um, chin and her bust, but you want to limit them where you're long and she's long between her waist and her crotch. So let's look at these, this outfit. And the way you figure out where vertical lines are is where your eye move up and down. So the main one is this center front opening because your eye just keep, flows down. But this lapel also creates a vertical design line. And then we have a princess line on either side that starts at mid armpit and then it goes flows all the way down. And those are the major vertical design lines. What's great about this outfit is have, because we have the horizontal lines and these major vertical design lines, it does counterbalance these horizontal lines. As I said in the in horizontal lines, this picture of a lasso necklace would have been perfect for this outfit because that would give it another length in this area counterbalancing the horizontal lines so down between the way the waist and the crotch this vertical line is going to move your eye through it but the horizontal lines created by the waistband and the pockets and then the hem makes that area appear a little shorter. That's really what the magic of strategically placing horizontal and vertical lines. Magic happens. In this episode, I showed you the design lines on this outfit. The ones that created the silhouette, horizontal lines and vertical design lines. I hope you see clothes and design lines with a whole new perspective. If you like what you saw, subscribe and share it with your friends. I'll be uploading a new video every Wednesday. Want to feel even more confident and supported? Then download my free PDF. Feeling unsupported? Then change your bra. Because when the girls feel supported, you feel supported. In this PDF, you're going to learn about three ways your bra is not supporting you and, the, and how to fix them. You can download, get the links below. So why is it important to understand design lines? Because clothes change how you feel. They can help you feel like you can conquer your world, allowing you to take steps toward pursuing your passions to create impact and make this world a better place to live. Wear your greatness today.